What's up guys, how's it going? Today, I've got this. You see that? I like a lamb. I'm going to try... There we go. I'm sporting my old San Diego Chargers. Old. Now, LA Chargers. So if you hate LA, or don't like LA, I'm sorry, I apologize. But, today I'm sporting my Home teams, my old home team. Um, what I'm gonna do is gonna, I'm gonna take it off the bone, basically. I gotta land my leg. Can't remember the cost. So I'm feeling right here for the bone. And then I'm gonna take my knife, just go through the tin it, yeah, go around. find the joint and here we go ah, so there's a shank lamb shank here we go beautiful piece of meat braised tastes so so good and I've got my leg the rest of it here okay. I'm not gonna do any fancy uh, boning I'm just gonna take the bone out um, you can do it it's whoever you like. This is the way I'm going to do it today. Okay. So, I'm just going to go around my bone here. The important thing is keep your fingers out of the way so you don't cut yourself. Okay, and just let the knife do its job, the knife work. My dog can smell the meat. <laughs> She's waiting patiently for some snacks. I'm just going to open it up a little. I'm not going to do any tunnel boning. Just going to leave on it. Normally I cook the whole thing. Either slow cooking on the barbecue or I throw in a crock pot at home in restaurants. <laughs> I don't use crock pot. Uh, I use braise it usually. Um, if I take the bone out, it's just easier um, when you cut it later. So you see that right there, I'm going to just find the joint, the section, and I'm just going to take that off, there you go, taking that little piece of meat joint, sorry, little bone off, and then I'm going to, and if your dog, you could give it to your dog, nice lamb bone for the dog, you can make a I wouldn't make a stock with it, but I make like sauces with it. You can make sauces with it if you like. Okay. And I let gravity work as well. Okay. So I'm holding it up just so you can see it a little bit. So I almost got it there. That's the end of it there. So I could take it. Still see it? Just go around, around the bone. Okay. So 
I'm just going to sign up here, around. There we go. Just make sure you get the cartilage and all those little bits, bits and pieces. And then I said, just watch out. Watch out for your fingers. There we go. So there's the bone. Bones out. She's happy. Okay. Now, I could tie that up, the whole thing. I could roast it. I could open it up, cut the steaks. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it smaller. I'm going to portion it out. Uh, because if I cook this, it will last too long in my house at the moment. And the kids get sick of eating the same thing for so many days. All right, so I'm just gonna separate some of the muscles, different sections. Okay. So. Nice piece there, you can make steaks out of that. Get that cut up, make some nice steaks. Quick cooking on the barbecue. Or inside. Probably do the barbecue. Okay. Uh, I'll leave some of the fat on. I'll trim some of the fat later. But I'll leave some of the fat on. Because I enjoy lamb fat if it's cooked correctly. And I'll cook it correctly. There we go. It's a nice little roast as well. You can season that, sear the outside, tie it up, make it nice and tight, sear it in the pan, put it on the barbecue, cook it, cook it medium rare, medium. If you don't like too much of the red, medium rare is nicer. I think for lamb. And that's about it. Peace.